Hey, you guys. Name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to add one more thing today about demons. I just did one video about where the makeup and weapons come from. I do exorcisms. I've done several, and I really do them. Really do them. I'm not kidding around. It's not dog and pony show, none of that stuff. But long story short, I want to give you some very important information. When Satan gets kicked out of heaven... He wars with Michael and his angels. The devil and his angels war with Michael and his angels. Then he gets kicked out of heaven. He arrives here as the Antichrist. The fallen angels are coming with him again. They will be marrying and giving in marriage. Just like during the day, uh, days of Noah. Yes, just like the days of Noah before the flood. Same old thing. Same old devil. One horn, one claw devil. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke you in the lives of all living souls in the name of Jesus Christ, Satan. Bind them up, chain them up, Jesus, bind them up, chain them up, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. So, with that said, I want to tell you, there's a very important verse you need to keep in mind for when that time comes. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 for this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Because they're going to be looking for fleshly women to marry and to be given in marriage. Just like during the days of Noah. So when you pray every day, you need to pray Christ over your head and God over your head. From now until forever in the name of Jesus. I pray that prayer every day. And I pray it for every living soul every day. But remember. When things start happening. And the Antichrist arrives. You need to make sure you stay rooted in the word. And you stay close to God. And another thing. All those that follow the Antichrist. Will go to hell with him. And a lot of people are going to be fooled. They're going to think it's Jesus. And it's not going to be Jesus. Because he's going to be playing Jesus to the hilt. And how you'll know it's the Antichrist. Is we'll all be in the flesh. When the Antichrist comes here. He sits in the temple in Jerusalem. Pretending to be Jesus. We will all be in the flesh. When Jesus comes back. As soon as he hit the clouds, we're all changed in the twinkling of an eye into our glorified bodies. When we're with Jesus during the millennial reign, we will be in our glorified bodies. Some will still be in their mortal bodies. And the ones that believed in the gospel of Jesus will be in their immortal bodies. And a lot of them will be teaching and preaching the people who never had a chance to hear the gospel along with Jesus. But this is a very important verse to remember. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 10. For this cause ought the woman to have power over her head because of the angels. That power is Jesus Christ. So I, was, I just wanted to share this information with you today. It's very important information. Have a God-blessed day. No matter who you are, where you are, I'm praying for you.